Brie Larson has been branded an arrogant and emotionless man-hater. The actress earned that reputation mostly for her role as Captain Marvel. She became hated, and it wasn't just for her acting. Brie's behavior during interviews made her co-stars feel quite uncomfortable. Right, guys? Okay, Isn't it fun being here for all my extra takes? It seems like the actress doesn't know how to handle compliments. In response to kind words, Larson gets defensive and haughty. You stole that Oh, Chris, that's really nice. I'm still stronger than you, though. I'm still stronger than you, though. When Chris Hemsworth attempted to say something nice to her once again, Bree's reaction was still hostile. He's my best friend. I don't think we're that close. And what's more, she repeatedly tried to make herself look better than the others. There's no competition for me because I'm the strongest. It's just a fact. It's not a personal opinion. Should we have a fight? And she can eat bacon. I feel like like we're we're fighting right now. (laughs) I think it's been an all-day thing. Perhaps she was just trying to be sarcastic. But no one gossiped because of her poor choice of words and awkward behavior. Apparently, Brie can't fake the expected jovial chemistry in the interviews. Does it look like anyone is having fun here? The same thing happened with her other co-stars as well. And I work at being the best person that I can be and using this platform for as much good as I can. It doesn't mean that I don't make mistakes, but I'm very comfortable with that. It seems like Jeremy Renner is having the worst time ever. All this became a big part of the reason why MCU fans started to dislike Brie. She wasn't being nice to their heroes. And even without her co-stars, Brie scares off her fans by interpreting something negative in most situations. Would Brie Larson work out? Like, hypothetically, would I at some point? Is that like a personal attack or something? Or is that a request? Do you think I should? Uh, yeah, I work out a lot. Thanks for asking. See, she's in defensive mode again, even if she's trying to pull it off as irony. But the backlash against her began even before those awkward interviews. When fans found out that Brie was cast to play Captain Marvel, they were disappointed. And when they saw the trailer, they were infuriated. First of all, fans expected MCU's most powerful superhero to be played by a man, as it was in the comic books. Secondly, in the Captain Marvel trailer, Brie looked completely emotionless. And after fans saw the film, they hated the actress even more. She just looked bored. Her power is having one expression. Brie Larson is the epitome of cringe. And it didn't help that Brie pissed off a large part of the MCU audience when the movie was still in production. The actress gave her acceptance speech at the Women in Film Awards, and she decided to defend a racially diverse movie that received poor reviews. Larson stated that she didn't like the fact that most of the movie critics were white males. I do not need a 40-year-old white dude to tell me what didn't work for him about A Wrinkle in Time. It wasn't made for him. With a single phrase, she offended all white males. Haters claimed that Bree's statement was way too negative. It looked like she wanted to pull men down and prove herself superior. Larson later explained that she didn't mean to offend anyone, but it was too late. This phrase marked her as a radically aggressive feminist. Supporting women doesn't mean hating men. Critics claimed that Captain Marvel's feminism felt like a step backwards. What's more, MCU fans began leaving bad reviews for the movie even before it came out. They promised to boycott the film because it had Brie in the main role. But is Larson really a man-hater? And if so, what made her give feminism a bad name? The actress's difficult relationship with men could have been caused by a childhood trauma. When Brie was seven, her father left their family for good. Brie and her mom barely got by since they had no help from her estranged dad. As a kid, Brie tried to understand why he distanced himself. He didn't do himself any favors. I don't think he ever really wanted to be a parent. Larson still can't forgive her dad, and they haven't talked to each other in about 15 years. Perhaps that shaped Brie's attitude towards men and empowered her to become a strong woman. It must be hard for the actress to handle everyone calling her a man-hater, but she tries to deal with it. And while she lacks chemistry with her male co-stars, Brie is really nice to her female colleagues. She's been friends with Scarlett Johansson for a long time. I just felt like I was basically a glorified extra and you were Scarlett Johansson, so I just was like, whoa. And she isn't the bad actress MCU fans think she is. The role of Captain Marvel is only a fraction of Brie's career. Larson's been acting for over 20 years, ever since she was a little girl. Her performances are often praised, and Brie even got an Oscar for Best Actress for her role in the drama film Room. 
and she's set to appear in the next Fast and Furious installment, as well as MCU's The Marvels. So it looks like she's fine despite it all. But how do you feel about Brie Larson? 